Hey guys, my name is Rebecca aka the Modega Cat and I'm hiding in a little like subway entrance because it is really windy outside. Uh, that clicking noise is the uh, escalator. Anyway, this is a highly requested video and it's finally happening. We're doing vegan options at Essex Market. Now, I've been to Essex Market before, but I really only uh, explored it for a few minutes and I only ate at Riverdale Cheese, and by ate, I mean like just sampled a couple of cheeses. So today we're gonna go around and try to get as complete of a list as we can in one go and try a few options from a few different places. I have my Tupperware containers uh, just in case I can't eat it all, so let's just go. If you live in New York and you don't know, Essex Market is a little market, okay, not little, it's huge, on the corner of Essex and Delan Delancey. And there's a lot of cute, awesome shops inside, as well as a bunch of food. Let's get exploring. The main appeal, I think, to a lot of vegans for Essex Market is Riverdale Cheese. They stock a lot of their own cheeses, as well as uh, popular ones, such as those from Cheese Hound. I know they have Miyoko's in here. This is all the classic Riverdale stuff. Um, and meats from Herbivorous Bircher, and I didn't see this last time, but Impossible Meat by the Pound. They also have sandwiches like this prosciutto and mozz, pepper and fig, ham and cheese croissant, which I'm gonna grab one of those for sure, regular croissant, um, pride and enjoy a, oh my god, it's a rainbow cookie. I might get one of those too. Mini chocolate croissants and mini almond croissants. Oh, this is amazing. And my personal favorite thing about them is that they allow you to sample. So let's do a little bit of that. This one is called Yodel. It's from Cheese Hound. Pretty good. That tastes a lot like Swiss, actually. Impressed. Can I just try one more? And this is the Brie from Herbivorous Butcher. Brie always kind of smelled like bark to me, but I also enjoyed it, so. Pretty farty. Not sure I enjoy it though. It tastes like cheese though, just like not my style. But they have more than just cheese and deli slices by the pound. They also have a lot of vegan options. Actually, like all the options are vegan. I guess just vegan food. Um, packaged cheese. So for example, Miyoko's. I've never tried this one. Kite Hill makes really good dips. I recently tried Nutting Ordinary and they sent me a couple flavors. Let me know if you want me to do a taste test um, of those. Miyoko's, I love the mozz for like pizza and sandwiches and stuff. I wanna say I've tried like half of these things, but the other half are like a total mystery to me. Oh my gosh, I might have to get this. Um, this is Good Catch Tuna. They are super popular right now. They also have some Light Life burgers, Beyond burgers, Beyond sausages. Basically any of your like meat and dairy needs are here, as well as a bunch of different kinds of yogurt. I have to say like of the yogurt available, Coconut Collaborative is probably my favorite. And yeah, so I just ordered a ham and cheese croissant, so we're gonna try that now. And I got it warmed up. Ta-da! All right, so I was trying to find a little quiet corner to do a taste test for this amazing looking croissant that I am definitely not bringing home leftovers for. And there's an upstairs seating area and it's huge. So let's get one thing out of the way. Yes, my hair is already fried at the end. She put a color at the end that's like way too light and it washed out in like two washes. Like not this, this is nice and beautiful. This washed out in like two washes and now my hair is like <clears throat> But I just ordered more color. I'm not fixing it myself. It's gonna be fine. Anyway. This is the beauty that is the ham and cheese croissant. Croissant, 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 croissant. They freaking grilled it. Oh my God, it smells so good. All right, ready? I'm drooling a little bit, okay. This is so good, wow. Holy bonkers. Can we make a holy bonkers a thing? 9 out of 10. The cheese is so gooey. For being a croissant, it's like still pretty dense. I don't know if it's because of all the meat and cheese in it, but... So far, Essex Market and I have gone off on the right foot. And I'm just at one place. There's a few more stores in there that I'm sure have vegan options. I'm gonna give a little disclaimer though. If you're squeamish, especially as a vegan, maybe this isn't the place for you. Because for some reason, there's either one very long butcher shop in here, or like four of them and they have like meat on display like you know have you ever walked into a Whole Foods and like seen the one section that's like the butcher shop in the back and for some reason they have like a window to like where they're hanging the whole animal that prepares you for the butcher shop in here mm. 
it's just not great. Let's go see what else we can find. So Essex Market not only has a bunch of food vendors, but they also have a lot of grocery vendors and a lot of like bulk stuff. So here's Essex Spice Shop. They have um, a lot of different spices. Don't know what more I could say about that. So they do give them to you in little tins, but you cannot bring them back for a refill. You have to buy a whole new little tin, which at least it's not plastic. They also have like a fresh produce section, a bunch of like regular grocery stuff. Although I can only imagine it's like a little more expensive than a usual grocery store. Cause it's like nice. Look at this giant avocado though. This is one thing that I really wanted to try. I was walking past this pastry shop. What is it called? Puerto Rico importing company and look what they imported donuts from vegan treats so i know roberto is doing a whole like no sugar thing right now but we're gonna get one because like you know for the sake of the video and then i'll go back home i'll freeze the rest for when he can have it and here is that beauty all up close and personal oh my gosh oh my gosh like it's dense with how much like freaking frosting is on this thing i don't know dude all right, we're just gonna roll with it. We'll make the donut the star of the dish, star of the dish, star of the shot, and donuts look great in any lighting. Look at this beauty. Excuse the thumbprint, it wasn't mine. I'm gonna bite the chocolate, no, hmm. I'll bite the vanilla side first, cause chocolate's better. Oh my God. Yo, that is straight up cake. That's not a donut, that's a cake. And the frosting is like, a freaking shell chocolate side. Yo, this reminds me of like those chocolate covered donuts from when I was little. All right, one more bite. The chocolate side is better. Mmm. I wish it was all chocolate, but I'll give it an eight out of 10. Okay, yeah, that chocolate side was pretty addictive. I couldn't stop. Let's keep looking. There must be more. So this looks like maybe like a Middle Eastern food place and they seem to have a bunch of vegan options and everything's clearly labeled uh, vegetarian, vegan, gluten free and there are a lot of things marked vegan so thumbs up on that although I'm not really craving Mediterranean food so we're gonna skip this one. Right across is LES Ice Cream Factory. Sorbets are vegan also their labels are super cute, adorable. The wafer cone is vegan as well as all the pretty colorful ones that you can't see because of stupid backlighting, but they're really pretty. All right, then we pass a few meat shops and cheese shops and we hit a sandwich shop, which I think does not have any vegan options. Nope, according to the menu, I don't see anything made with plants. We have more of a supermarkety place and right off the bat, I'm seeing a lot of like health food stuff. So, ooh, yo, these are so good. These gummies from Andy's are vegan. They also have sour ones that I really, 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 really like, but I don't see them here. More fruit and veg. I don't know if this is associated with the other section. They have dried beans and stuff, canned stuff. Ooh, my favorite. Pretty basic, just grocery store. So one place I've heard of a little bit is Aaron, Arancini Bros, Arancini Bros. Not quite sure how to pronounce that. They have one vegan option that I think is made with Beyond Meat or something, and we're definitely getting that because I've heard good things. Another like super cute thing is they serve them in little egg cartons. Adorable. Here, this one is a vegan. They also have the little Beyond Meat logo on it, and it has sausage and pepper. Oh, there it is. That's so cute. All right, now to find a place to eat these adorable things. Okay, can I get an award for filming in like the weirdest little corners? I feel like I'm a floating head in like a museum exhibit or something. Anyway, so we have Arancini Bros and I ran into this couple just now. Um, I think they're from London or something like that. And they were like, is Arancini Bros fully vegan here like it is at home? And I'm like, Arancini Bros are fully vegan like in London? And they were like, yeah, well, not here. Here we only have one vegan option, and it's the Beyond Meat one, but cross our fingers. Maybe they'll go fully vegan here too. I don't know. I just picked one up. They're so crispy. What? Okay, let's do this. Oh my god. Mmm. Yo. Well, this kind of tastes like pizza. It's so crispy on the outside, and the rice is so soft. 
And here's the filling right here. We have some Beyond Meat. I don't know if it's like shredded um, sausage or ground. I can't tell. But um, this is darn delicious. Eight and a half out of ten. Mmm. So far, everything is delicious. Oh, oh, but I gotta tell you something. This is not cheap. Those three balls were seven dollars. So like, maybe not like a daily occurrence. All right, moving on from Arancini Bros, which was, again, delicious. There's even a cute little coffee spot where you can get freshly ground coffee. And what looks to be like a witch's shop? I mean, that definitely says mugwort, which sounds very witchy. Crambar, dandelion, echinacea, horsetail, something upside down, a witch shop. Melanone, none? Wait, someone told me, aha, look, vegan pesto. You do have a vegan option. A vegan pesto with arugula basil. Awesome. Again, I'm getting kind of full, so I'm not gonna get it. Oh, that's really cool. All of our packaging and disposable is eco-friendly and compostable. We embraced a zero waste approach with our ingredients. I love it. And then a Japanese deli. I think they have, I heard they have, ooh, yes. A vegan bento. Ba-boom. And I think some of the salads too. The miso soup is vegan as well as the medicinal turmeric soup. Oh, and a vegan macro right there. That's pretty vegan friendly, honestly. Oh, even the noodles and soup. Says it comes in a vegan broth. Wow, guys. You can even buy tofu here. And some veggie rolls. Just when I thought the shop was over, I found a whole new aisle. This is a Moroccan spot that has some clearly labeled vegan items. V for vegan. Freaky salad. Freaky is kind of like a cracked wheat. Falafel salad, quinoa salad, hummus, roasted eggplants, roasted cauliflower, a sample plate, vegetable tagine, lots of vegan options. And this place is called Zerza Mediterranean. Honestly, looks really good. And last, but I'm guessing not least, I found this peasant stock it's a soup place and right off the bat at least right now they have two vegan soups this one is vegan and gluten-free the organic carrot ginger with toasted coconut and this one is a yellow split pea soup also vegan gluten-free and right before I leave I'm just gonna grab some chia seeds because this is the same price I find it for at key food and we just ran out and I like to put this in our overnight oats. All right, so that is Essex Market. I was able to try a few things and everything I tried was delicious. There was a bunch of other things that I couldn't try and maybe other things that I missed. Let me know how are the vegan options that I did not try and if there are any other vegan options that I missed because I would love to know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, and I hope you enjoy. I hope that you use this guide and eat some yummy things over here. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, then put, uh, blah, blah, blah. Then I'll put my Instagram right here. And that is all for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! As always, I have to shout out my bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Ellen, Michelle, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Emily, Juanita, Charlotte, Emily B, Jenny, Marcia, Gemini, and Curtis. You guys are the absolute best and these videos are made possible with your support.